Howdy everyone, it's Sam. I hope you're doing really well. If you're new around here, hope I can get you to consider liking the content and subscribing to the channel. And if you are a regular around these year parts, thank you very much for the continuous support. The NFL returned last week uh, for week one and it was just as crazy as how they left it in 2021. An unbelievable weekend. Uh, my record was eight and seven and one. There was a draw last weekend. Um, Let's hope that I can do a little bit better this weekend. Um, should do though, now that the week one upsets are now sort of out of the way. So let's get stuck into the tips for week two. Live from Arrowhead Stadium, Friday Australian Eastern Standard Time, Thursday night football in America. It is the Kansas City Chiefs hosting the Los Angeles Chargers and the Chiefs are coming in as $1.46 favorites to the Los Angeles Chargers, $2.72. That's not bad value on the Chargers. Last season, these two rivals uh, met each other and uh, the Chargers did really well against the Chiefs. They actually won last year at Arrowhead Stadium, the Chargers, and the next encounter was an overtime loss uh, at home, obviously to the Chiefs. So they gave these these heavyweights a, a heavyweights a really good run for their money. Los Angeles Chargers, they've gotten better. They won last weekend, but the Chiefs, man, they were the most maybe the second most impressive side of week one. They were amazing against the Arizona Cardinals. If it wasn't for the Buffalo Bills, uh, who who won handsomely themselves, I'd say the Chiefs would, would be the most impressive victors from week one. This is going to be a great contest. Um, charges at $2.72 is really, really enticing, but I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to go for Patrick Mahomes to, to lead them uh, with a plus 300 yard game, uh, passing game. So Kansas City Chiefs still win a close one, uh, one to 13. Then the next dozen games are going to be taking place on Monday morning, Australian Eastern Standard Time. Obviously, Sunday afternoon, Sunday night footy as well. Uh, the first game is from Ford Field in Detroit. The Detroit Lions are hosting the Washington Commanders. The Lions are $1.78 to the Commanders, $2.04. Both these sides were pretty good last week, but one of them got the win, and that was the Washington Commanders against the Jacksonville Jaguars, but they they made it pretty tough for themselves while the Detroit Lions were involved in a great game of footy against the Philadelphia Eagles and fell by three points, unfortunately. It was high scoring. They held a really good account of themselves. Um, the, the place was buzzing. I'm going to go the Detroit Lions to get their first win of the season, but the only qualm I have is that the defense of the commanders it looked like in patches last weekend that that defense that got them to the playoffs a couple of seasons ago was sort of back in action so let's see how they go with consistency but the detroit lions man i'm going to give them i'm, I'm, I'm going to tip them uh, this weekend detroit lions to win this one in a close one one to 13. the next game is from first energy stadium with a brand new looking browns elf logo on the middle of the paddock gee whiz if you've seen it it's freaking terrifying the cleveland browns are hosting the new york jets and the browns are a dollar 33 favorites to the jets three dollars 34 outsiders the cleveland browns weren't impressive last weekend in their win uh their first ever win uh, um in carolina whereas the new york jets were pretty disappointing um 24 points to nine against the baltimore ravens um in that loss so i think the cleveland browns back at home uh getting that win away uh would be obviously great for him so i'm going to go the um i'm going to go the cleveland browns to get the dub against the new york jets and go two and oh some would say this would be the best game of the week. It is the New Orleans Saints hosting the Tampa Bay Buccaneers from Caesars Superdome in New Orleans. The home side are $2.16, whereas Tampa Bay Buccaneers are $1.70. New Orleans, they started very, very, very slow against the Atlanta Falcons of all the sides who uh, many pundits, including myself, have as uh, wooden spooners uh, for 2022. 
but um, they only won by the single point pretty much in the last minute. Whereas the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they weren't overly impressive in a really ordinary, boring game of footy against the Dallas Cowboys, winning 19 points to three. So both these sides are coming into the game uh, one and one. And the New Orleans Saints have the absolute wood over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But I think this is the time where that winning streak against Tom Brady and Tampa Bay comes to an end. I think the Buccaneers, um, I think the defense is going to be too good for the New Orleans Saints. I think it'll be close, though. Um, I, I'm going to tip uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers away from home um, uh, to win 1-13. to But I cannot blame anyone, if you want to believe in the hoodoo that the Saints have over the Buccaneers at $2.16 about the New Orleans Saints. I couldn't blame you if you do tip them, but I'm going to tip the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and play it safe. Next game is from MetLife Stadium. The New York Giants are hosting the Carolina Panthers. The Giants are $1.78 to the Panthers $2.00. Four cents. The New York Giants traveled to Tennessee and got the victory. Uh, really tough, really, really good performance from the New York Giants. Whereas the Carolina Panthers, um, pretty average in the end. A lot of fumble balls, man. Um, I'm going to go New York Giants to ride the wave of momentum um, that they got after the win. And I'm going to tip the New York Giants to get this one done against Carolina at home. The next game is, uh, is she's going to be a weird one. It's Pittsburgh Steelers versus the New England Patriots from Heinz Field. The Steelers, the home side, are two dollars six outsiders to the Patriots, a dollar seventy seven favourites. That, that, that surely uh, is like a, a misprint or something. Hey, like. Wow. Um, so both these sides have been affected by injury after last weekend. The Pittsburgh Steelers remarkably got the victory in overtime against the Bengals away from home. The Patriots got spanked. Their um, attack, their offense, the Patriots, was really off. Uh, their quarterback, Mac Jones, will not play in this game due to back spasm complaints. Um, and the defense for Pittsburgh Steelers, TJ Watt, one of the best defensive players in all of NFL, uh, did something to his peck. I don't think he quite tore it, which would have uh, rendered his season all done, but there's also another gentleman uh, that uh, did did himself as well. Um, so both these sides are affected by injuries, but they scored some points last weekend, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Patriots didn't. Uh, their defense, while they do miss uh, TJ Watt, I think, I think it's going to be enough. I think they'll do just enough. And at $2.06 about Pittsburgh at home, man, I'm going to tip the Steelers to get this one against the Patriots this weekend. Jacksonville Jaguars host the Indianapolis Colts and the Jacksonville Jaguars are $2.62 to the Colts, $1.50. I'm a little bit surprised it's not a bit closer. The Colts uh, should have really belted the Texans, but they walked away with a draw. Uh, crazy upset, really. Um, and then the Jacksonville Jaguars, they had the lead there for a bit, but their slow start and bad finish uh, was what really let them down in the end. Now, the Colts last played Jacksonville in the final week last season, and all they had to do was beat Jacksonville, and they didn't. And their record overall in Florida, the Indianapolis Colts, is it, it's atrocious, to be honest with you. But, man, now that the week one, the, the regular season is all, is, is all ready to go and the cobwebs are out... Um, I'm going to tip the Colts to win this one, but it would be not alarm bells, but someone would be standing right there by the horn ready to flip the switch if the Jacksonville Jaguars get the win over the Colts. Um, so Colts, man, I'm I'm going to tip you to, to win this one in a close game. Um, but the Jaguars will be confident considering that they did beat the Colts in the final week of last season. Amy is Los Angeles Rams hosting the Atlanta Falcons from SoFi Stadium and the Rams are $1.17 favourites to the Falcons $5.10. Rams by 14 plus. From MNT Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland, it is the Ravens hosting the Miami Dolphins. The Ravens are $1.50 to the Dolphins $2.58. That's pretty nice odds on the Dolphins who looked all right, they looked good uh, to, to get the win against the Patriots. Uh, 20 points to seven or 20, uh, yeah, I think it was 20 
points to seven, whereas the Ravens, they travel to New York and they beat the Jets 23 to nine. This is gonna be a good game of footy, I reckon. Um, important one, obviously, I think these sides need every win. They can't afford to even drop one, in my opinion, if they wanna play playoffs, especially the Dolphins. Um, I'm gonna go the Baltimore Ravens though, man. Um, Lamar Jackson, bro, he's backing himself big time. Uh, the Ravens, you can, as, I, as I always say, you don't ever count out the Ravens in any way, but um, yeah, the Dolphins, man, just they, they need to earn a bit more trust, in my opinion, before I start backing them, even though $2.58, man, in what should be a close game of footy. Can't blame you if you decide to choose the Miami Dolphins as well. So I'm gonna, but I'm gonna tip the uh, Baltimore Ravens to win this one, one to 13. From a and t Stadium in Dallas, it is the Dallas Cowboys hosting the Cincinnati Bengals and the Cowboys are $3.73 outsiders to the away team, the Bengals $1.28. Dak Prescott, the Cowboys quarterback, is out for at least six weeks after breaking his thumb. Cincinnati Bengals, man, what? What? How? How and why, man, did you not easily account for the Pittsburgh Steelers last weekend. Well, I know because the offensive line uh, for the Bengals, where it was their Achilles heel last year, they had all off season to make themselves stronger and they did, they recruited well, but it just didn't happen for them. It, it, it just didn't happen. Um, Cincinnati Bengals against the Cowboys without Dak Prescott for the Cowboys. I think the Bengals can get uh, their first win in the season and win one to 13. Next game is Denver Broncos hosting the Houston Texans. Broncos are $1.20, the Texans are $4.60, and this is at Mile High Stadium. The Broncos, man, their discipline is what really let them down last weekend against the Seahawks. Uh, the Texans remarkably were up 20 points to three um, after halftime, and then they just took their foot off the throat, unfortunately, and they walked away with a draw, which is better than what the anticipated result was gonna be. Um, the Broncos, in front of their home fans, they looked like last week that things were also, you know, it's, it's a brand new era for that club. So um, I think they just, it, it was their discipline and it was a result of, you know, making things work and it was just a bit clunky. They'll be smoother this weekend against the Houston Texans and they'll win this one by 14 plus the Denver Broncos. And the next game is from Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada. The Raiders are hosting the Arizona Cardinals. The Raiders are $1.40 to the Cardinals, $2.97. Really disappointing loss, defensively speaking, uh, for the uh, Las Vegas Raiders, or uh, offensive line speaking. Um, they just had Derek Carr get sacked way too many times, man. He needs more protection, whereas the Cardinals, um, look, man, uh, their off-season dramas with Kyler Murray and uh, the, the infighting that's happening and is still continuing um, is, man, ca caused them to get absolutely belted by Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs last weekend. Las Vegas Raiders, though, uh, wide receiver Devante Adams absolutely slayed it last weekend. He was great, although it was a loss. Um, in front of their home fans, I'm going to go for um, the Las Vegas Raiders to win this one, 1-13. One to 13. But um, just, just be aware of the Cardinals and the, the inconsistency still of the Las Vegas Raiders. But um, yeah, Raiders are going to win this one against the Cardinals this weekend. Next game is Green Bay Packers hosting the Chicago Bears from Lambeau Field. The Packers are $1.21 to the Bears, $4.45. The Bears sprung an upset, maybe the biggest upset of last weekend um, by beating the San Francisco 49ers who I really rated highly coming into the season. Um, but a lot of the a lot of that victory was due to the poor conditions out there in Chicago. Whereas the Green Bay Packers, man, they they have some they have some young talent that have made their debuts last week. Uh, one of which was a right wide receiver named Watson, last name Watson, and um, he dropped an easy catch. Uh, and look, I'm, I'm gonna back the young man in um, to score himself a touchdown. Rogers will wanna get him back on the horse. He'll wanna ride him um, again this weekend, give him another shot. Um, but uh, yeah, I think this is gonna be a big win to the Green Bay, Green Bay Packers, uh, 14 plus this weekend. And then the, the last game on Sunday is my favorite game of in all of NFL. It is the San Francisco 49ers hosting 
the Seattle Seahawks and the 49ers are $1.24 to the Seahawks $4.10. Bro, this rivalry brings out the best in both sides. The Seahawks traveled to San Francisco last season and got the victory. Geno Smith for three quarters on Monday night was exceptional, bro. Uh, Rashad Penny was great at running back. And I would have liked to see a little bit more from Lockett, but just a shout out as well to a Seahawks uh, defensive man. I think Michael Jackson, uh, number 30, I thought he had some really good moments, man. Some really important moments at clutch times, man. So South Seahawks were good, but then that fourth quarter came about and they just, the adrenaline wore off and Geno Smith wasn't playing with as much flair. Um, the, the, the offensive line, the wide receivers weren't finding enough space, but the San Francisco 49ers, man, I don't care what the weather conditions were like, they were pretty much at full strength, maybe one or two injuries, but man, the 49ers to lose to Chicago, 19 to 10, man, that's a that's a bad loss, bro. Um, but they'll be galvanized and they'll be ready to host their, their NFC West rivals. Um, now there are there is an injury concern, or a massive injury concern to safety Jamal Adams for the Seattle Seahawks. He, it looks like that potentially his season could be done. Uh, which is a massive shame because he is a fantastic player. At $4.10 about the Seahawks in this rivalry game, bro, where the Seahawks could easily spring an upset just down the road in San Francisco, just down the road in San Francisco. Seattle Seahawks, man, 1-13. to Go, you good things. And for the first time in a really long time, we've got two Monday night football games or Tuesday morning games to look forward to, and they're both going to be really interesting, revealing contests. Game number one is the Buffalo Bills hosting the Tennessee Titans, and the Bills are $1.20 to the Titans, $4.60. Man, the Bills were ultra, ultra impressive. Don't think they have any injuries to speak of. I do think that the Titans, um, look, they looked pretty good. Uh, in patches, but man, they, I don't know, just just fell away, bro. Just the, the intensity in defense wasn't there, and they had the New York Giants come down to their home turf and pip them. Um, disappointing loss for the Titans, who have been uh, pretty consistent or uh, pretty consistent in appearing in playoffs for the past two seasons. Buffalo Bills, man, going to win this one 14 plus. And then the final game of week two in the NFL is the Philadelphia Eagles hosting the Minnesota Vikings. And it's $1.75 to the home team, whereas it's $2.08 to the Minnesota Vikings. Philadelphia Eagles won a great game of footy, as aforementioned, against the Detroit Lions away from home, uh, whereas the Minnesota Vikings had themselves a terrific victory, keeping the Green Bay Packers to seven points, winning by 14 plus, if, I, if my maths is correct. And yes, yes, they did win by 14 plus. Um, at $2.08, man, I'm really close to picking the Minnesota Vikings, but in the week one uh, preview that I did with Entertain House and Nick from Australia, um, I did say that I think most of us agreed that the Philadelphia Eagles are gonna be one of, if not the biggest improver in 2022. Uh, at home, I think this is still gonna be a really close game. Like I cannot blame anyone if you choose the Vikings, but for me, I'm gonna back the Philadelphia Eagles, man. Um, and I said last week that AJ Brown would be a huge loss for the Titans. Turns out that was true. It would be a great game for the Philadelphia Eagles. Turns out that became reality as well, man. So I'm going to take the Philadelphia Eagles to get this one in a close one. I think this will be a great game, actually. Eagles and Vikings. Um, but I'm going to tip Philadelphia to win this one. Uh, hope your team gets up, except for the San Francisco 49ers. And I'll see you guys next week for uh, week three of the NFL tips. Thank you very much for tuning in and adios.